Welcome back to Unfold Data Science friends. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to cover what are the different areas in which interviewer will ask you questions when it comes to feature scaling technique. So as you and me already know, feature scaling is a very important technique when it comes to feature engineering in ML pipeline. Now what are the different areas guys where you can expect questions? First area, what, why and types of feature scaling. Second area, impact on various algorithm. So which algorithms will be impacted in which way when you do feature scaling. Third is when to use what feature is scaling. So there are different ways to do scaling, when to use what. And fourth is Python implementation. How do you do that in Python? I am going to cover all these areas one by one so that you are very confident in the interview when it comes to any topic around feature scaling. Let's start without any further delay. First thing is what, why and types of feature scaling. What is feature scaling guys? Feature scaling is a, is a way, is a technique in which we try to bring all the features on the same scale. Why do we need to do that? Let's take a simple example. So I am drawing a small table here guys. Okay. In this table let us say there are just two data points. Just two data points. First data point is this is your age, this is your salary and this is your target variable. This is an employee data. Okay, employee data of an organization. In age column I have age 32, 31. In salary column I have 20k and 21k. And let us say anything is there in the target variable. Feature scaling is needed because if you see here age is in the range of 30s whereas salary is in the range of thousands that to 20 thousands now if i ask you a question how similar is emp1 from emp2 this is emp1 and this is emp2 obviously you will go and compute some distance between these two guys maybe euclidean distance manhattan distance or whatever in that case the variable which is having large magnitude in this case salary will suppress the impact of variable which is having less magnitude. We don't want that to happen. We want to capture the impact of all the variables when we compute the distance between EMP1 and EMP2. That is the reason we scale the features on the same scale. So we do something, I will talk about that something now. We do something after which all these numbers will be between 0 to 1 or minus 1 to 1. And here also all the numbers will be in that range. What will happen? What will happen is when you compute some kind of distance or run some ML algorithm that will be more meaningful. That is at high level what is feature engineering and why we do feature engineering. Sorry, feature scaling. Now what are the types? What are the types of feature scaling? Two most important types guys. I am sure you know this but I am just writing here standardization and one is called normalization okay what is the formula for standardization standardization is computed like this x is your value mu, mu is your mean and sigma is your standard deviation so all your observations will be transformed like this if you do a standardization if you do a normalization there are two types of normalization one is x minus minimum of x okay minimum of x divided by maximum of x minus minimum of x okay this is called your mean max scaling okay mean max scaling and in place of minimum of x if you put mu here or mean here that is called mean normalization but mostly keep it very simple remember standardization and normalization in standardization x minus mu by sigma in normalization x minus minimum of whole observation and denominator will be max of x divided by mean of x the range of that column basically how these two formulas are different guys in first one if you see you will get in the output you will get numbers which is in normal distribution with mean 0 and standard deviation of 1 in second one you will get numbers between 0 to 1 that is what you will get as an output if you run these two on any two columns these columns okay these are two main ways of doing feature scaling or normalization and standardization fine now come here impact on various algorithm 
So suppose I am using a linear regression or I am running a deep learning model or I am running a support vector machine or I am running a k nearest neighbor or k means clustering. Do I need to do feature scaling always? Let us do, let us categorize in three buckets, okay? Three buckets, bucket one, bucket two and bucket three. Bucket one, algorithms where you must do feature scaling. If you don't do feature scaling, your results are going to be very, very drastically wrong. Okay, what are these? These are some of the algorithms which computes distance. For example, k nearest neighbor. For example, k means clustering. These are some of the algorithms which is based on distance. Like I gave example here. You have to compute distance between EMP1 and EMP2. Euclidean distance. What is the formula? x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square under root. Distance. You must do feature scaling. Otherwise, your answers or your findings will be totally wrong. That is category 1 of algorithm. Category 2 of algorithm. Suppose you are running a deep learning model or you are running a linear regression or you are running any logistic regression where gradient descent is working. Okay. I have explained gradient descent in detail in this video. You can watch one more time if you have any doubt on gradient descent. Suppose gradient descent is running. What happens? The features, the weights are optimized to reach a global minima, right? Now suppose features are on different scale. What will happen? The learning rate or the step size of gradient descent will get impacted. What happens if we don't do feature scaling? Still the minima will be achieved. Still the algorithm will, will work. But you know, it might take more iterations. That is number one. And it might be more efficient if we do feature scaling. What kind of algorithm I am talking about? All the algorithm where some kind of optimization, some kind of gradient descent is running in background. Now you must be aware which are those kind of algorithms. That I am putting in category number 2. And category number 3 is, whether you do feature scaling, you don't do it doesn't matter. What kind of algorithm? Everything based on decision tree. Decision tree, bagging, boosting, ensemble, random forest, data boost, gradient boost. Everywhere, if you don't do, that is fine. Which means it will not get impacted because at the end of the day, your tree is breaking on one criteria. Okay. Three, remember these guys, people will ask you an interview, impact on various algorithm. You have to remember these three categories. First, must do. Second, good to do. Third, it's okay if you don't do. That is about what kind of impact on various algorithm. When to use what? There is a lot of uh, questions around this. So I have discussed standardization, normalization. When to use what? I am running a, a normal artificial neural network. What should I do? I am running a, a, let's say, normal linear regression. Which one shall I do? Basically, what I have observed is, in, in ML or parametric models, right? Basic models I am talking about. Linear regression, logistic regression, some kind of uh, basic models, parametric models, lasso, ridge regression, right? If you do a standardization, right, where your data comes into some kind of Gaussian form, that is going to perform better for basic machine learning algorithms, parametric models, assuming some form of the data, standardization will do better. However, if you are running some kind of deep learning models where you want to optimize the weight quickly, you want to, you know, run your algorithm multiple iterations, normalization works better. That is what I have seen at least in the observations I have run. Second thing you should remember is, in standardization, there will be no impact of outliers in your data. Now, look at this formula guys. If there are outliers in your data, then your denominator will be totally screwed up. And hence, all your uh, values, new values will also get screwed up. So, this is badly impacted by outliers. So, remember this another point. And third point you should remember is, if there is an underlying Gaussian distribution of the data or something close to Gaussian distribution, you should go with this. If you are not sure about the distribution, you should go with normalization. That is three, four points that, that you should keep in mind. Again, uh, regarding any hyperparameter, regarding any uh, tuning things in machine learning, it's all depend on data and how we run various address. And this might be true in other case, one might be true in other case like that. There is about three major areas that interviewer will touch you when it comes to feature scaling. One of the one of the favorite topic of interviewers in the interview. Next thing, Python implementation. How do you do that? 
from SQL and you, you import standard scalar for this and mean max scalar for this. You import that, you create an object and you just pass your data, it will give you the scaled output. If you want me to show that, I can create a video and show you how to do that using some simple data. So I'm sure you would have understood these concepts guys and I'm sure you'll be able to answer anything related to feature scaling in your next interview. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet. I'll see you all in the next video. Till then wherever you are, stay safe and take care.